Hello and welcome to another Spark AR tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be looking at how we can use gestures to be able to control and position our content. So to do this I'm going to be using the canvas as our control system but bear in mind anything I do here would also work with any 3D object that we could place in our scene. We'll just have to change it from being using three vectors to two or vice versa. So I'm just going to start off by adding my rectangle to my scene, like so. And I'm just going to rename this rectangle to uh, grabbable, or again anything that's suitable that you think would be appropriate. And this will be the object that we'll be able to manipulate. So I'm just going to import a uh, it's going to import a uh, material like so. So this is my texture I'm going to apply to my grabbable. I'm just going to create a new material on this uh, rectangle and choose the texture to be my sub material. So my sub texture is now on my material. Uh, I'm just going to now also scale this up just a little bit so I can uh, see it more clearly. There we go. And I'm also going to make sure that that material is flat. There we are. So now to be able to control this, we're going to need to open up our patch editor. And we're going to add a variety of controls. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a screen pinch. So I can adjust the scale. So this basically means when we use our two fingers on our screen, we'll be able to scale this up or down. Bear in mind this will only work when we preview on our device, so I won't be able to preview in the emulator window. I then need to also add a pack, so we can take our values from the pinch up into our next output. So pack. I want to make sure that this pack is a vector 2 because we're only going to be dealing with two values. In this case, we'll be dealing with the uh, scale rotation, so x and y. I'm just going to link my scale value from my pinch to my two pack options. I'm going to grab my rectangle object and click on the little arrow next to scale. like so, and now link this to my grabbable scale option. So now if I was to preview this, I should be able to pinch uh, two things on the screen and be able to scale this up or down accordingly as I see fit. So that is a simple way to uh, scale things using a pinch command. Next thing I'm going to want to do is move its position. So I'm going to add a screen pan. I'm going to also add a divide because without this uh, the movement of our, of our fingers would be quite uh, radical and I need to use a 2D offset and link this to my divide top value and I'm going to make sure that this is also a vector 2 because we'll be utilizing the two values of our x and y positions and I'm going to adjust these two values to be 10 but again you could experiment with different values here uh, it's just that 10 seems to be the uh, most reliable, less crazy um, values. I'm also going to make these a vector 2 as well. So I'm going to unpack these two values and repack them ready to be imported to our new values in our position. And again, making sure that these are vector 2 and just link our x to our top value and our y to our bottom value. Hit the little arrow next to our position transform and just link that up like so. And finally, we're going to add a rotate option. So we're going to use a screen rotate. And we need to, instead of dividing, we need to multiply this time. And I'm going to link my rotation value to my multiply like so. And then, because our rotation value is a vector free, so we have x, y, and z, I'm going to make sure that's a vector free. And link that to my pack option again. 
and I'm just going to change the connection to not connect to the top value but instead connect to our second value which will be our Y value and then I need to link this to my rectangles rotation let's just go on here so patch defined for the value scalar is scalar vector free scalar okay so we need to, to just change this to be a number like so because otherwise so we basically want to multiply this by a fixed amount and this will apply to all three values here and then affect our rotation value down there so now if I was to preview this on my device this would work I'd be able to pinch I'd be able to pan by moving my finger around the screen to drag the object around and I'll be able to rotate by using two fingers in combination doing a kind of twisting motion to rotate my object across its y-axis or any other axis I decide to link this to. Uh, I am going to change my multiply to be negative one just again so it's not so dramatic uh, but again play about with these values as you see fit. And this has just been a little bonus Spark AR video to go through how to use pinch, pan and rotate and move objects on your scene and if this was a 3D object all we would do is we would change each of these vector 2s to be vector 3s and the same would apply and we can simply apply that to our target tracker or to our plane tracker. So thank you for watching, if you like this video please remember to give us a like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time.